Hi, this is Lola. Welcome back to part two of the guitar tutorial of Can't Help Falling in Love or Folds Rush In. In this part two, I will walk you through the chorus and then I will show you the strumming pattern for the second lyrics. Um, it's pretty simple. So let's do this, okay? The last chord that you play for the verse is this thing. So after you play that, you just need to remove your index finger and then keep your middle finger at the same place and put your ring finger on the fourth string and fret number two and it's E minor, right? Okay? Right when you plug your thumb on the sixth string, you start to sing like. Like a river, like a river, like a river. Okay? And then when you sing flows, you change to this chord called B. Seven, B major seven, and this is a little bit tricky because you have to use all your four fingers. You just have to practice this. There's no like shortcut to this chord as you have for the F major chord. But again, the order of which finger you put on the fretboard first is very important and very helpful. So for this chord, first finger you put you put in is your middle finger and put it on the fifth string second fret. Okay? Next goes in is the index finger on the next string which is the fourth string. First fret and then next finger, just right behind, just to the next string, which is the third string. And second fret. The pinky finger, also on the second fret, but it will be on the first string. And for this chord, you will pluck your thumb on the fifth string. Like a river flows Again Like a river flows Okay And then When you sing sure You would change it back to the E minor And you know how to play E minor already I hope you still remember Middle finger on the 5th string 2nd fret and ring finger on the 4th string 2nd fret. Surely to the C. When you sing C is when you play B major 7. And remember, pluck your thumb on the 5th string. And that is also the first notes of the chord you will need to play. So you need to put your middle finger right in its position first. That will help you to change the chord faster so you can sing on beat. Okay? Surely to the sea. And you play one right hand pattern and then you just go back to the E minor, it's also when you sing Darling. Darling, so it goes B minor. Okay, so for the first two lines of the chorus, 
for each chord you play one right hand pattern and then change to the next chord and just go back and forth from E minor to B major 7 I'll play again from the last verse okay And then you change to A major. And this is how to play the chord. The index finger will be on the fourth string, second fret. Middle finger on the third string, second fret. Ring finger on the second string, second fret. Your thumb plug on the fifth string. And when you sing some is when you start to play A major. So, so, oh, where was it? So it goes. So for this A major chord, you will play two right hand patterns before you change to the next chord. Something second pattern on and to B. Okay, when you sing are meant to B, you're gonna play D minor but with a little bit different. Um, so this is how you play it. Uh, your middle finger will be on the third string, second fret. Your ring finger will be on the second string, third fret. And just two of your finger, usually when you play D minor, you will need your index finger, but for this chord, just release it. Don't use it, okay? Just pluck your thumb on the fourth string. To be Okay, so one right hand pattern and then change to G major. Again, G major. Ring finger on the 6th string, 3rd fret, middle finger on the 5th string, 2nd fret, and pinky on the 1st string, 3rd fret. And you play one right hand pattern, and that's when you finish the chorus. Okay? Again, something 2nd pattern. I'm meant to be one right hand pattern and then change to G. Okay. Like a river flows, surely to the sea, darling, so it goes. Something I'm meant to be. end of the chorus uh, so now you can practice the chorus and when you finish come back and I will show you the strumming pattern so you can use for the second lyrics to make to bring a little bit variation to the song all right now let's practice the strumming pattern Okay. 
down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That is one pattern. So there's two gaps in one pattern. Imagine that you play your right hand up and down steadily. But you don't always touch the strings, right? So when you play down, you will skip, skip, and then up, down, up, down, and then skip, skip, up, down, up. Again, down, skip, the up, skip, the down, and then up, down, up, down, and then skip, the up, skip, the down, up, down, up. Down, skip, skip, up, down, up, down, skip, skip, up, down, up, down, skip, skip, up, down, up, down, skip, skip, up, down, up. And the number of right hand pattern or strumming pattern for the second lyrics will be exactly the same as the first lyrics. And if you look at the description, you will see when to change the chord. I put the first note of the chord, the, the chord right above the word where you supposed to change the chord. For example, sing up down up down up down up my down up hand up down up down up down up down take my horn up down up down up down up my up down up down up down change chord to up down up down up down up down up down for out up down up down up down up kin up down up down up down a help up down up down up down a phone up down up down see up down have any question just feel free to contact me I will be more than happy to have, have to help you okay so let me know all right good luck <laughs>